Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you my whiskey bottle collection. I hope you enjoy it. So let's start off with uh, my favorite whiskey brand. I know that this is not expensive or the best brand, but for my taste buds, it's uh, the best for me. Um, I got this as a gift. It's the Jameson bread. Jameson. Jameson crested. Jameson crested. Celebrating the first drops bottled in Bow Street. Triple distilled Irish whiskey. Product of Ireland. sold it in Oaks to Bonders for bottling. In 1963, we took control of the whole process. Crested is a tribute to the first drops bottled by us and combines vivid sherry notes with arty pot still spices. Learn about our taste and story at jamesonwhiskey.com. Distillery Middleton Go Cork in Ireland. It's seven hundred milliliters and forty percent forty forty percent full. It's a nice bottle. I think I got this one as a gift from my friend. So got this one. I don't know um, if if this is a good or not. It is a single malt and single pot whiskey. I don't know what single pot means, but maybe you can explain it in the comments. I don't know what single malt is. Uh, to be honest, I haven't heard of this whiskey. It's the brand that the Irishman learn the past, create the future. Uh, not triple distilled. The full bodied flavor of our signature whiskey comes from the unique marriage of a single pot, the steel spice, and single malt smoothness. Product of Ireland 40% alcohol. 700 milliliters full. I like the shape of the bottle. This is a marriage of heavenly proportions, a creamy oaky cream caramel taste, like a delicious chewy toffee. That's the mouth and pot still influence before the bourbon casks. Maturation brings the whiskey into its own. American oak. Um, 
I haven't drank in like a year or year and a half. But um, looking at this, I wouldn't mind having a glass of it with a nice sweet cigar. Let's go to the next one. So here I have the standard Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. It's not Irish. Um, this is something I buy for birthdays and stuff like that, but I haven't opened it up. This is a Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. I um, you will never see me drink something that's sweet. Like, if I drink, it's either whiskey, rum, vodka, and straight, no flavorings, no nothing added. So, this bottle is almost empty, but it wasn't me that drank it. Um, so yeah, the standard Jack Daniels Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey Distilled and Barrel. USA also 40% full 70 centiliters or 700 milliliters bottled in the EU for brown form in Netherlands Kaisergracht and Amsterdam Netherlands imported by a brand new drinks company Here it says, I don't know what this one means, but this is 18 plus. This is that pregnant women women shouldn't uh, drink, and this is that uh, you shouldn't drive after you've been drinking this. But I don't know what this means. honest I don't even want to talk about this one this one is five percent less alcohol in it. Um, yeah so basically Jack Daniels is like the whiskey that um, it's not a waste when you mix it with coke if you like to drink it if you like to drink your whiskey with coke or another type of uh, um, mix okay so um, let's go to another boxed one I got this one from my wife's niece when she came to us, visit us when we had our first uh, when we had our new apartment um, it's actually my least favorite whiskey uh, it's a Johnny Walker and I have drama with a, a red Johnny Walker this one is double black blended scotch whiskey so this one is from Scotland then right yeah, 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 yeah. I mean scotch whiskey it says in the name but I just wanted to make sure the pioneering spirit and unique blending skills of our founders created the Johnny Walker Black Label in 1909. It's now recognized as the world's number one best selling deluxe blended scotch whiskey. Um, I guess not liking the red label made me not to drink other Johnny Walkers, but. It's not nice of me to say that Johnny Walker itself isn't a good whiskey because I don't want to offend people and yeah, I always say if you haven't tried it you shouldn't um, say that it's good or bad. It's a very nice bottle. Let me see, it's also 700 milliliters or 70 centiliters. What's the percentage? 40% so it looks like 
like the average or universal percentage for whiskeys is 70%, but I wouldn't know if the double black Johnny Walker is good or bad. Maybe you have tried it already and you can tell me in the comments. Makes a nice noise. And like these whiskeys that I got in a bottle. Um, I won't be opening them up anytime soon. I just like to have them as a collection. And um, who knows, maybe someday in the far or near future, I will be opening up uh, a bottle that I see as uh, special. I think out of my whole collection, the Jack Daniels, the normal Jack Daniels, and uh, this one is the only bottle that I bought myself. The rest were all presents. This is a, a bit cheaper whiskey. It has a nice sound. Uh, it's grounds. It's like when we were young, this was the more affordable whiskey that we could buy and drink. It's a blended scotch whiskey. Matured, matured in three different types of wood for a smooth, rich and mellow taste. Stand fast. William Gran... Oh, Grans. I don't know what it says. That's what you get with uh, handwritings. We have 40% alcohol. And this is one liter. So yeah, it's like 40% all over the board. Grand triple wood scotch whiskey. Uh, and it's Polish, I guess. Kraj Pochocemia Scotia. William Grant and Sons Distiller. Phoenix Crescent, Belgium, Kovanovska, Oborni. Yeah, I think this is like it's Scotch whiskey, but it was like maybe imported in Poland or something like that, or bottles. I'm not sure. Let's put this over here. Now for a whiskey that looks really nice, and it's a big bottle, Jesus Christ, no, it's also one liter, and also 40% full, I haven't uh, tried this one yet, it's really nice looking with the roses, the four roses, hence the name, four roses, bourbon, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, um, now, I'm not an expert, but as far as I know, like, Bourbon is American whiskey, like there is no bourbon in Ireland and Scotland, as far as I know. Four Roses, the legend of Four Roses, Paul Jones Jr., the founder of Four Roses, bourbon fell in love with a beautiful southern belle. He sent a proposal to her. She replied that if her answer were yes, she would wear a corsage of roses on her dress to the homecoming great ball when she showed up. The night of the ball in her beautiful evening dress, she indeed wore a corsage of four red roses. He later named this bourbon Four Roses, Four, 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 Four Roses, as a symbol of his devout passion for the lovely belle. Distilled and aged by Four Roses Distillery. Nice. Nice story. Imported as 1888 authentic. Now let's uh, test the sound. Okay, it's not uh, not bad. Um, now, for the last 
Alcohol.